name is Julie Jackson. I'm the Outreach Director here at the Art Center in Orange. This is our Art at Home series. We are so fortunate to have Jessica Strand read her book, Rodeo Chicken, for us on our webpage. As she reads each section, we'll do an art project to go along with it. This week we'll do section one. And this is about Lindbergh Bertinius. And that's just too hard to say, so we're going to call him Chicken. Chicken and his friends, Jake, Buckeye, and Frederick, are all on the farm. But Chicken has big dreams, and his friends work hard to help him reach those dreams. This is the spring of the year, and normally in my classes, we're doing portraits at this time. We study famous portraits and see how the different artists do it in different ways. Well, we're going to do portraits of Chicken, Buckeye, Jake, and Frederick in the next few weeks. And then we have you do a self-portrait of you. Won't that be fun? Let me show you how we did Chicken's portrait. Now, when we talk about portraits, we're talking about from the shoulders up. We don't show the whole body when we're doing a portrait. I took a good sketch. And that's my sketch of chicken. Now you guys could do a sketch on any kind of paper. Scratch paper, construction paper. I use notebook paper that I had at home. So chicken, well he's male in this story, Lamford Bertinius, will have a comb. This is called the red comb on top of his head. And he'll have a beak. And this is called the hackles. And this part that hangs down from his beak, that's called the waddle. So I wanted to make sure I included all of those in my sketch. And you guys can sketch it out at home. But it's your choices that you're making. You're the artist. You can decide how big or how small how wide, how tall, how you want to make your chicken. Now, when we do a portrait, the person is in the foreground, but we need something different in the background. So we're going to paint the background a different color. And I decided to add a sun. Now, did you know that when you do a spiral, that is the way you show a sun in art? That's happened for hundreds of years, thousands of years, since the beginning of time. Spirals represent the sun in a lot of our work. Now, once I got my sketch ready, I decided I was going to do the portrait. And today we're going to work in oil pastels and watercolors. And you choose your, water, your colors. You don't have to follow mine. Mine's just here for a guide and an idea. But you're the artist. I want to see your work. The first thing I did was draw with the oil pastels, and they look like this. But you know what? If you have a simple box of crayons at home, you can use those too. So I drew the comb, and the waddle, and the beak, and the hackles. Now, I didn't want this to look like it was just a flat thing, because chickens have feathers. And you know what? When you draw feathers, they're almost like scales on a fish. So there's layers and layers and layers of feathers. So when you draw them, you want to go in there and put some, some things like that in there. So it shows texture in your picture. So once I have them all drawn, and I drew my spiral up here too, as well. Once I have them drawn in oil pastel, I get out my trusty watercolor palette. Most of us have these at home. And I painted in the comb with my red. And then I painted the bottle as well. And this part around his eye was also red. Now the next thing I could do would be to paint his beak. So we're going to paint some orange in there. You really have to fill your brush. Fill your brush for that beak. Get it orange. Or whatever color you're using. Now, wherever you drew with the oil pastels, the watercolor is not going to stick to that part. So you get to see the parts underneath it. 
So I continued painting and I decided that I needed a background. And so I did a little bit of green out behind, a little bit of blue, and there's my spiral, my sun. This is what they turned out like. And yours can look like anything you want. This is your vision of chicken from Rodeo Chicken. Now just start with a sketch and go from there. Hey, tune in next week and see which friend will be doing a portrait of them. Bye-bye for now.